Welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, we're jumping right in into those settings and talking about how to stop your Fire Stick or your Fire TV from collecting your data. So if you guys aren't aware, when you buy an Amazon streaming device, whether it's a Fire Stick, Fire TV, Fire TV Cube, by default, there are some settings that allows it to collect your data. Now this data can be used for a couple different things from ad placement to product improvement, but for some people, including myself, having these off give me a peace of mind. So in this video, I'm gonna jump into the three settings you need to disable that will stop your Fire TV and Fire TV stick from collecting your data. Before we do, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so not gonna waste too much time. If you have a Fire TV device by now, hopefully, you should have a UI that looks like this. Uh, if your Fire TV or Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube does not look like this, you need to go to your settings and update. To do that, you go to your settings, you're gonna go to My Fire TV, click on About, and go to the bottom and check for update. You can see mine's currently up to date. This is the Fire TV Lite version of the Fire OS is 7.6.1.4 and it has the build number. So get that update out of the way. So let's jump right into it. Three settings that are on by default that lets your Fire Stick collect your data. To get to those settings, you're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go down to preferences and under privacy settings, this is where they're housed. So device uses data, collect app usage data, and interest-based ads. So the first one, device usage data. Explanation that use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement purposes. So essentially what they're saying is that they're gonna collect your data and notice that it didn't specify which type of data, but it does say personal data. So that could be anything. Uses this data on the OS for marketing and product improvement so marketing is one separate thing then product improvement is another thing so in my opinion if they have these separated maybe i wouldn't be as skeptical because product improvement okay maybe they'll collect the data see where people are having issues within the operating system within the device and then they can make improvement to the next generation of devices or in a software update so i get that I feel like the marketing portion that shouldn't be tied into the device improvement either way if they were separated, I'll still turn both of these off. Just don't trust the big companies to collect my data and give them the benefit of a doubt that they're gonna use it for good reason. So that one's turned off. The next one is to collect app usage data. Now this allows app stores to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded applications. So for this one, they didn't say why they're collecting the data. All they wanna know is which apps you're downloading and how long you're using them for. And this is where they get you into your favorite application. Maybe you like YouTube TV or whatever the case is. So watching YouTube TV, I notice that sometimes I'll get ads that's like 10 ads in a row. And what they do, I believe, is that they find what shows you like to watch, maybe if your favorite shows, especially on the video on demand, what you like to watch. And then they know that it's hard for you to walk away. So they roll in ads after ads and you're gonna sit there and watch it. So that's what I think that is. Let me know how you interpret the explanation for the collect app usage data. The last one is interest-based ads. And uh, this one, allow apps on this device to use your advertising ID to show interest-based ads that display products and services that might be of interest to you. So again, at least here, they're telling you what they're gonna do with it. If you guys aren't aware, every user has a unique ad ID on this device. That's what they use to track you from device to device. So maybe you have four Fire TV sticks, uh, maybe you have a Fire TV cube, but can put those ad ID tied to you. And when you go from device to device, they know which ads to actually display to you. So a lot of stuff being collected here. They're on by default. If you haven't visited this area, you need to go check it out. Go through what you want and just turn off what you don't want. So in the comments, let me know if you knew about these settings, let me know which ones you're gonna turn off. Let me know which ones you're gonna leave on. Uh, I myself, not a big fan of these bigger companies collecting data. Just to have your data there, I know that they're not looking to make less money. So drop your thoughts in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.